First London Route PR1. 2. LVAG's YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Hey everyone, what is up? Louis Vlogs and Games here. Welcome back to another new video on the channel where this time we are going to be taking a Citaro out for a drive. One of the newest buses to Canterbury Bus Simulator. And it's finally here at last. We finally got on a Citaro in Canterbury and District when the game was updated last night. Uh, and today we are going to be taking it for a drive on the 1A at East Canterbury over to the bus station. So let's have a look at it while we're here. So this is one of the new versions of the Citaro. It looks different compared to the classic one. Uh, um, it's only in the Cardiff bus livery, which is a new one at the moment. Uh, but more liveries will hopefully be coming soon as we go along. So we've got the first Cardiff bus livery, which is orange and cyan. Uh, the other one is orange and red, but I decided to go for this type of colours today. Uh, so let's have a look inside before we start driving. So this is inside of the bus itself. It looks really ma well made, not going to lie. The bows look absolutely identical to real life. I like the adverts on the board, uh, on the top. Uh, and there's so many seats. Even one of these seats, you can also sit on the window side. Oh my god, calm down. Stop jumping! So you can also sit on this side as well. So you can sit almost everywhere on this bus. Like, all of the seats are available. Not just to sit on both of them at the same time. Uh, so I guess we could jump inside the um the cab now. We are going to be doing the Route One A to Canterbury Bus Station. So I will set the bus up, get it started, turn the lights on. Uh, there we go. I should put the thumbstick on because I'm better at driving on the thumbstick. And have a look at that when the lights are on. I really do like the look of this. Let me take a picture there for the thumbnail once I get the chance to upload it. Uh, so this is a really well-made bus. I'm looking forward to be seeing what else should be coming to the fleet of Citabos. Um, Let's give it full drive now. So let's shut the doors and we'll get ourselves going. Uh, and something straight off the bat, which was completely unknown, the fact that this Citabo right here I'm driving has the Infamo 400 EV door sound. And I, that's not the right door sound uh, because I know the Citabos sound way different like this. Yeah, that, that's what it's supposed to sound like, not like an electric um, Envoy 400 EV doors. Uh, but I could just put the sound over that one, to be honest. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so we're making our way now over to Canterbury Bus Station on the 1A. We are also going to go via the hospital as well. And we've also heard there is some temporary um, construction like roadworks going on at the main hospital bus station. So a temporary new bus station is been opened just outside the hospital so we will be serving that area so now we've got the time to pick up some speed up the airport bridge now to see how fast this bus can go well we are going about 80 miles per hour that's normally the speed of every bus in this game goes yep 80 miles per hour i know the Optair solo sr goes 90 the mmc 400 goes 95 manage still goes 100 mile per hour um, I'm always curious, like, what other, like, liveries could come to the Citaro, this version? Like, we could see, like, a London livery. I'm not great with London buses. There's another one! There we go. That was the orange and red livery I was talking about. Uh, I'm thinking some first liveries might come for the Citaro, because I've seen a few of those in Worcester. Those could come. Uh, or these could come for the classic variant, or the older version of the Citaro when it comes to the game very soon. Hopefully, uh, we could also drive the classic version as well as the new Citaro that we currently have right here that we're currently driving. So it'll be nice to see um, another version of that also added, including the Bendy version. that will be nice to see that happening. I was talking about a Citaro Bendy version for Canterbury Bus Sim because we would like to see more Bendys in this game than just the... White Fusion, Eclipse, Scan Yomi City, and the Streetlight, which is completely unknown. Uh, so it could also come in London liveries and even National Express Coventry, which I also suggested for that Bendy bus as well. Because uh, I know that National Express Coventry used to have Sitaros uh, on their particular Spring routes in the city centre. Well, we are just about to approach the hospital now by the looks of it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get access to the main bus station entrance, but we'll just have a quick check while we're here, because I just started my dead run from the depot to East Canterbury. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. Uh, 
And we can already see that the road is completely blocked off here by the looks of it. Let's just double check if it is. Yep, it's blocked off. Yeah, I should have known. We can see there's roadworks going on at the hospital over there, so we cannot access that. Because, yeah, another tower nearby. So a new temporary bus station is in place. We've got passengers to pick up at the new hospital. So we're going to have to find the bus station around here somewhere. There's the same tower we just saw earlier. We're not going to skip this just yet. Uh, so if I want to check out for a new bus station, I haven't checked yet. Uh, and I'm assuming this is it right here. Yep, yeah, I can see an open top bus right here. So we'll enter here. First time actually entering the new bus station here. I know this is only temporarily. This is a shift, by the way. Uh, and we'll just turn here. Oh, perfect turn in. And then we'll just park just behind that um, open top A Alex 400 right there. Over here. And then we will stop there, open the doors, stay here for a minute. Uh, um, someone just left that bus right here. here. I should have known. Uh. So we can see a couple of people um, trying to use the hospital entrance. We can see a street deck arriving, another Citaro on the 23, and a reverse Citano e City Gold back there as well. We can just see in the distance. Uh, well, there's another 1A right there. Um, the Citaro's on the 23, perhaps. Um, I'm going to guess the Citano is on the R68. I might be wrong, but we'll just zoom out and have a look. Oh, the 37. I should have known. Well, there's nothing much going on now, so I guess we should close the doors and use that um, auto sound effect that I just added into the um, this video here. So we could just drive through this bus because I know why would anyone leave their bus there parking terribly. Uh, we'll just continue now. Uh, so let's make our way out of the new hospital bus station and we are now going to head on our final home stretch to Canterbury bus station where we will be ending off. Let's just make our way out now. Uh, and we'll be at the bus station in about two or three minutes. This depends on how many traffic points we'll get stuck at uh, on the home stretch. Uh, there's nothing else coming. We can see the hospital there. A floating thing over there. Blimey. Bulldozer is just um, floating there. Wasn't expecting that. That's a bit of a, um, a bus stop from Fairy Epic right there. There's one of the bendies. Um, yeah, somehow... I can't appear to um, get the horn working for some strange reason. I tried clicking the horn button, but it doesn't seem to make a sound, uh, which is completely awkward. Not gonna lie. Uh. Well, we're out of the hospital now, onto the Spring Lane bypass. Uh, we will be making a left here in a second. And we are now. And we're just about to approach the Great Stone Bridge, just up ahead. And then we get to these traffic flights that I completely um, have always have problems with here. Because it takes so long to get through all these red lights. Uh, like it takes you a long time. And that bus there just completely overshot that red light there. Just continue. I won't tell anyone. Now we're moving now because the lights have turned green. We can see another bus over there in Volvo 400 MMC in the Cardiff bus delivery. That's not the only one. To tell any Volvo 400 MMC isn't the only ones. We've also seen the Infra 200 MMC and Plaxton Pointer, Dennis Starr in their new car lift bus liveries. New liveries will also be coming to certain buses that could get the car lift bus livery very soon. I don't know which ones that could receive them, but we will find out soon. Uh, um, that one is still in, in a, like a little white livery. I'm still waiting for like um, a whole livery to come, like orange and turquoise. Uh. That's probably like a starter livery, I'm probably assuming that. It's probably the full livery will probably come in soon in a future update. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to predict. Because uh, I'm not sure if this will actually be 100% true. But it just depends on how much work it could be done with the developers making a full livery on that. Uh, and there's the... Oh, no, 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 no. I thought that was... Um, the Cardiff bus if I was talking about MMC, but it was the Compass City bus. Uh, then, the yeah, the Compass City bus and the Cardiff bus liveries on that MMC look absolutely the same, but it's just the red bottom thing being removed off the, um, the City bus livery. Well, we're just about to arrive now at Canterbury bus station where we will be ending off our video here. So we'll just wait for this light to turn green. We'll pull up to our stand. And then we will finish off the video there. So let's try and get into stand A1 if we can possibly can. We'll just turn this around. We'll just end, go out of surface here. 
since we are finished. And we will take A2 then. So I know the controls with the thumbstick may be a bit um, slippery. And let's open the doors. And there we have it. So there we have it then, guys. That is the new Citaro G2 for Canterbury and District. Drove it on the 1A from East Canterbury over to the bus station. And here we are terminating here. So what a nice drive it was.